Hey everybody, I'm back here with another video, and what this video is going to be is a look at how I store my um, planner supplies. I currently use an Erin Condren planner on the vertical layout, so this is going to go over my sticker storage. I don't really have any sticker storage that's crazily unique or really innovative over what's already up on YouTube videos and Facebook, but how I find my sticker storage to work for me, uh, how this little cart works out for me, and basically just how I plan. So if you are just interested to see how other um, people out there do it and storage solutions, then you might want to stick around. This may be the video for you. But this is the IKEA cart, and you know, for the life of me, I cannot remember exactly what the name is of this cart. It's not that expensive. I want to say it's maybe $40-ish. Not too bad. Not too bad. My parents actually picked it up for me when they went out to Ikea. My father assembled it for me when I was at work one day, which is pretty awesome. But anyway, so this is just the little rolly cart that I use to use my planner supplies. And I do have an office in my home, but the planner supplies don't really fit there. And I, I kind of like sitting here in the kitchen. This is like the kitcheny area right here. Here's my like kitchen table. And, you know, the kitchen's like over there. Um, but I kind of like sitting in here. This is the main room that my husband and I hang out in. So it makes more sense for me to plan like in an area that I feel comfortable in. And, you know, the fact that my husband is close to me while I'm doing it, then I don't feel like I have to rush, you know, to spend time with him or anything like that. So I just use this little cart here. And this cart just kind of like lives over here by the window. And the other reason I like it too, it's, you know, I purposely got it in the gray color. So it's a little bit more subdued. And it just kind of hangs out there. And, you know, we don't have always have a lot of people over to our house, but it's not like so ostentatious or embarrassing that it's like hanging out in the main area of our home. And then when I'm ready to plan, I just come over here and I grab it and I move it over here next to me and I sit down right here. And then I just basically grab what I need to plan. So this is how I use the card. Now up here, I've got some uh, sticker storage. I go into my pens, my checkbook, some post-it notes, and some like, you know, label stickers are up here. Down here, I've got um, one of the Erin Condren, uh, what is this? Oh yeah, the the neoprene ones. I'm not going to show the front because it's got my full name on it, and I don't like putting that out there on YouTube. But I actually really love this neoprene case. It really is quite awesome, and I'm probably going to try to get one more. So I don't really use that, but it's just kind of hanging out in here. I also have a uh, placemat in here, and I use this so I don't, you know, scratch up the table. So I always put that down before I plan. Over here is some washi. Um, here are some more sticker solutions. Then down here I have more sticker solutions, the actual planner, some pins, and then also there's like a cutting kind of thing down here too. So I'm going to put the camera on a tripod and go through this one at a time, but if you wanted to see just the overall uh, cart storage, that is how the cart storage looks. Okay, so the first thing I want to go over is out of the cart here is probably what's here on the top, and it's just like the pens and things that I use. So I just got this little pen pouch, and I'm pretty sure it's obviously meant for kids. Um, I don't remember what it's called, but I, you know, I got it from like Staples or something. But anyways, it's one of those, you know, pen pouches that actually like unzip the entire way. So you could actually like sit here and like unzip it and unzip it and unzip it until it's just nothing but a single zipper. I actually saw one of these like years ago, and I think it's the same company actually. They must have patented this kind of design actually then done it. But anyways, that's what I use here. I have one Sharpie in here, fine tip. I don't really use Sharpies in the planner. I know the pages are not super thick and I really don't want to have it bleed through. I do just have one regular um, ballpoint pen because depending on the sticker company, some of them seem to do really well with like a Papermate, what is this? The Papermate Flare. Uh, and some just seem to do well with just like a regular ballpoint pen. Um, so I kind of like having a combination of all of them. And my favorite pens to use are the Papermate flares. And these actually, I just saw them at a Staples today. Like this whole pack was like 10 bucks. So it's not too bad. And I really don't use any of the other colors except for black. But I do like to have the variety. So I keep them all here in my pouch. Down here, I also have the other ones that are used quite a bit. The I'm going to probably mispronounce this, the Stadler Triplus Fineliner. Uh, I do have this as well. I, you know, I just really haven't used these as much as the Papermate Flares. I don't really know why. I don't think I really gave them their due. I know my mother used these for a little bit and I think she liked them, but I do keep those as well. So those are the pens that I do have. The next thing I want to go over is washi storage. And you probably saw this sitting in the cart, um, but I do have these cute little containers that I actually got from, what's that store? Home Goods. I got it from Home Goods. And what these containers are actually designed for are to 
be like refrigerator storage containers. So they're meant to like, like there's all sorts of different shapes and stuff and they're stackable. So you can make use of all the vertical space in your refrigerator. But I saw them and I'm like, you know what? These would be perfect for washi tape storage actually. And I really, really like it. Now, one disclaimer is I don't actually use washi tape probably as much as I should. Not that there's a right or wrong way to plan. When I first started, I bought a lot of washi tape and I still buy it periodically, but I don't really use it. I tend to just use only stickers. So I don't really go into here a whole heck of a lot, but in here you've, I've got like the different washi. I kind of try to organize it by color. It sort of works, it sort of didn't. Um, I do have some of the, you know, the thinner washi here. I do have another smattering of pens, mostly Sharpies that are over here that I do not use. Um, I also have one of these like little adhesive things that are normally used in scrapbooking if I wanted to adhere paper to the planner that doesn't have a sticky back. And then I also have some of these cute little like, you know, little, no, they're not post-its, but these little sticky notes that I know they sell a lot on Etsy. And then I also have the ruler here that I don't really use in the planner. So it's perfect for washing if you look at it, like it, well, besides that one that I just kind of lifted up, you see like it's perfectly just, you know, sized for that. And it fits so well in the cart. It's like perfect in the cart. And I wish I could remember um, what size these are. If I'm looking on them, it looks like they're made by Core Kitchen. C-O-R-E Kitchen. Yeah, Core Kitchen in New York. So that's who makes these particular ones. And this other one here, you know, just stacks right on top of it there. And here I've got some more washi. Once again, kind of color coordinated, kind of not. The problem with color coordinating things is when you get another piece of washi that you need to put like in, you know, you know, it's already full and it's hard to add stuff when you color coordinate it. So the color coordination was like a good intention and then it kind of worked and then kind of didn't. But this is the washi that I have and I found that these little storage containers just, they're just like so perfect. The next thing I want to show you is the planner itself and this is my Erin Contran planner. I'm not going to open it because, you know, I don't want to show you the inside. You know, the stuff in there can be kind of personal and, and, and I don't want to show you my cover because it's got my phone name on it, but I do use the Woodland Cottage farm cover and they are kind of pricey they cost actually i believe a little bit more than the planner itself costs i mean depending if you get like a metallic rose gold or or those kinds of things but i mean it's kind of an investment thing and the turnaround time can be kind of long but however they are beautifully made i do really love them so every, on a day-to-day -day basis my planner just kind of hangs out in here in its woodland cottage cover woodland is it woodland cottage farm i really should have looked this up before i made this video um so it sits in here but if i ever had to take my planner somewhere which I don't, but if I had to, I would definitely pop it inside this neoprene uh, case because this thing to me, like it just, I don't think this would really protect it as much as I would like to when it's like hanging in a purse or a bag. So, but that is the planner that I use um, and that is the planner cover that I use. Now, the last thing really to go through for this kind of stuff is sticker storage. Now there's like a million ways you can store stickers. You can put them in like a Tupper, Tupperware, you know, container. You can put them in a binder. You can put them in an expandable folder. Um, there's a couple different things that I've tried. And, and what works for me is actually a combination of, of a lot of different options. And I haven't really sold myself onto one particular option. So the first thing that, that I thought about when I wanted to get sticker storage done was actually to get a binder. So this is what I initially used. And let me, let me put the camera up a little bit. Okay, I like this angle a little bit better here. So I was looking for a binder for the stickers and this is like not an eight and a half by 11 binder. It's like the smaller one. I wish, once again, these are the details I should have looked up before the video, but it's like the smaller binder. You guys know what I'm talking about. And it has like the, um, the, the what did it call the page protectors inside of it. I was kind of initially looking for kind of a cute girly one, um, but I did know I wanted something that zippered because there's nothing worse than you have your binder with all of your stickers and their page protectors and whoops, like you drop it upside down and everything just falls out, obviously. Now you can get page protectors that actually uh, close at the top, like they kind of either snap together or they fold. There's something that folds over. I've never seen them myself, but you can get that. So the binder I have is not the cutest binder. It's not like super girly, but it's very functional. So you unzip it here and this is what it looks like on the inside. Now, the one thing I love about this binder is that it's got actually a lot of different options more than just the rings here. So it has like a little zippered pocket here. And what I've been putting in here are either some of the small sheets or sometimes like a lot of the little like freebie sheets that are really small that I wanna make sure that I don't lose, I will put in this little pocket here. And there's also a little Velcro tab and it opens up and there's even an accordion 
area here. Now the ones that I put in here are kind of like random like one-off stickers at least for me. This really is not supposed to be a sticker collection video but I'll show you a little bit but you know it's like I don't sew very often so there's like one of these so I kind of stick it here. You know phones and stuff like that. A printer sticker set. So some of those like weird ones like oh yeah changing your car oil like yeah it's gonna take me a long time to go through that whole sheet. But um, there's a lot of those one-offs that you can actually put in the little expandable accordion section there on the front. And then here are the different sections. Now initially, when my sticker collection started and it was smaller, I had all of them in here. And as the sticker collection grew and grew and grew, I had to move entire sections out of the binder to some of the other storage solutions that I'll show you. So that's why like, they're, these are kind of all over the place. So this first section here is like my outdoor chores. So I've got, I'm a huge succulent fanatic. Um, you know, cactus, succulents. I don't like cactus, but I do like all the other succulents. So I do have like a lot of succulent ones, which are not the easiest to find, but some vendors do carry them and like, you know, watering your plants kind of thing, uh, you know, uh, lawnmowers. And then I've got errands. So here's like my grocery section, um, shopping, Target, like maybe dry cleaning or cleaning out your closet. And then here's like my medical stuff, uh, little pill bottles and doctory kind of things. I do have a lot of um, animals, animal companions in my house. So here's my cat section. And a lot of these are quite thick. I mean, I'm not trying to show you everything, but like you can see here, a lot of these sections have quite a few, quite a few uh, stickers in them. Oh, these are probably some of my favorite. I have my, my one cat that's black, Sam. That looks like Sam. Well, obviously it's a black cat. Black, all black and long-haired cats in sticker form probably all look about the same because they're all black and fat and cute. Okay, this next one here is my for my chinchillas. It's very difficult to find a sticker for cage cleaning. I don't know, maybe if it would be better like this. You know, a cage cleaning sticker, and Planner Press does make ones for cleaning cages. Now, this one is really designed more for a hamster cage, but I use them for chinchilla cleaning, and I do have quite a few of these, too, in different sizes because I clean their cage every other day. Um, I do have red-eared slider turtles, so I got these for them, and then also for when I clean their tank, which we do every other week. I also have Russian tortoises as well, so I can kind of use those for the tortoises. We have a koi pond too, so I have these for koi pondy kind of things, like cleaning out their filter. This is like the only non-Etsy kind of sticker in here, and I don't really use them, but it's just kind of in there. Um, this next section is empty. It's food. I had to move it out. This next one here is beauty. It's like cleaning makeup brushes. Um, shampooing my hair, which I do twice a week. This is like purses, bath bombs, you know, changing out your razor blade, that kind of stuff is in this next one. This one is a financial section, so it has like paid stickers, like bill due stickers, and like a house payment sticker for our mortgages. This next one here is online purchases and mail, so Amazon. I love Amazon. I'm an Amazon Prime junkie. I, it's so easy to get stuff off Amazon Prime instead of running an errand. Crazy two-day shipping. But anyway, so I have a lot of Amazon ones, and then these are just like general package delivery stickers, you know, like mail received, package received, those kinds of things also from all sorts of different vendors. The next one here is like recreation. So I have movie stickers. I love these from Sweet Kawaii Design. These are like take a nap and time to relax because I love to relax and just hang out. These next ones here are just some gaming stickers. Me and my husband, we do game. Um, I play, you know, like we play like Fallout, Borderlands. I play Minecraft. So I've got some Xbox stickers and then baseball stickers because he likes to watch baseball. He's an Atlanta Braves fan. Then also some um, TV stickers, TV, YouTube, stuff like that. Next are the wax warmer stickers. And I actually haven't used these yet. I wanted to use these to start to document my wax melting because I haven't been melting wax like as much as I used to because before it was in an Excel spreadsheet. So I wanted to use my planner for it, but I haven't been melting that much wax at all even though I wanted to start up again. I can probably explain in another video. I don't want to go into it here. These are like working out stickers. This next section is like travel. So suitcases and little planes are all in this section. And this last section here, I think this is like cars, like getting your car washed, little cars on their own. Oh, cars and houses. And this is like just a nice like section for house stickers. And I like these because it's like if you're doing general house things, you know, like, I don't know, whatever you're doing around your house, like maybe water heater maintenance or something, then you could throw it on a house sticker. And then these are gas stickers here. So this is what's in this binder. And that's kind of how I store it. So I do like the binder. It is now that I now that I kind of know what's in each section, it's easy for me to go through and find it. But 
As the sticker collection started to grow, I needed to come up with more storage than that binder could sustain. So I went to Target and like everybody else, I ended up with these $1 expandable file folders. And I do love these and I do have them kind of organized by type and I'm, I have them labeled on the outside as well so I know which one to grab. Because sometimes if you have multiples of these, there's nothing more annoying than if you can't remember like what's in which... Um, you know, what's in which one and you're looking for everything. So this one here are kits and here I just like have like, you know, just kits that are, that I feel like would be good for like a weekly theme. So they just kind of all go together here. And if I feel like doing a weekly theme, then I can come in here and just grab kits. And in the back, oh, these are like, I use some of those already. And in the back here is like, for the most part, the majority of my Christmassy stickers that I haven't started to get into yet, but um, after next week, I'm going to definitely go through here so I can plan out my spread. So kits are in there. I've got, uh, a couple of these accordion files as you probably already saw. And this one here, I have, what's this one in the front? I just think this front section is kind of like miscellaneous -y kind of things. I've got some full boxes. I've got like this little woodland critter kit that I already used one time, like a rainbowy kit, some watermelon stuff, some pretty stickers, um, other stickers, nautical, watermelon. This one's kind of like a kit-ish, some birthday stickers. And then this is like one of the sections I had to move out of the binder. This is like indoor cleaning stuff, vacuuming, cleaning uh, the bathrooms, um, washing clothes. So this all had to move out just because that binder was about to bust. And then this here is also like a food section. So eating out, eating in, and then also trash stickers for when we take out the trash once a week, recycling, and just regular trash. So those are just like... It's kind of a mix. That pink one is not super well organized. There's some kits in there. There's some like, you know, chore stickers in there. It's all over the place. Now this next one here is probably my favorite one. And this is the monthly kits, as I call them. So anything that I buy that's color coordinated for a specific month goes in here. Um, so right now, starting off with December, like I have got Planner Gems, Scribble Prints Co. And then I think also some, what is this? Is this the Alex Studio in the front? Or is this one orange snowflake? I think, I can't remember. No, this is one orange... I think this is one orange snowflake, right? That looks like one orange snowflake. I'm not, I'm not particularly sure. So I got like December here. I've got some January stuff already lined up for if I do like a yellow or a black, you know, spread or gold. Um, I got some custom headers made from Planner Gem, so I've got them already pre-staged for later. Now July is when I got into planning, so this is I have a couple months here that are empty, and then July kind of starts up again. These are like the first ones I got from the Sticky Planner Company, and I really love her stickers. They're like super thick. The quality is excellent. I need to place another order. So July stickers, August kind of has a lot. Now I've already, obviously these months have already been used, but as you can see, I went overboard buying monthly kits and I have like a lot left. So I'm going to hang on to it obviously for next year. September colors. Oh, I love the gray and the purple I think are just so pretty. Um, September without well, that was September. And then this is getting into October and I have a lot of October of the orange and the brown colors, just a ton of it. And then November, and I love the November colors too. And I, you know, I only did one spread with all of these November stickers, like one, which is why you can see there's quite a few that are just like, they're not, they're not used. But, you know, assuming that the colors stay similar next year or, um, you know, or I could just do a spread in those colors. Cause like, I'm not a slave to those colors. I can do what I want. I do what I want. I sound like Cartman there. Okay, this next one here are is also kind of a, a fun binder. And these are like functional stickers. So these are like just headers, just all headers. And I got all of these, I want to say from, yeah, Planner Kate. And I love these. Now, I haven't used them yet because, you know, for the most part, like if I use a kit, I use the headers that come with the kit or I use like a monthly kit header. So, but these are like my backup ones. And I got a ton in gray um, because I know like watch, I was watching one time like Andrea from Scribble Prints Co. And she said that like if you're ever in a conundrum and you don't know what color coordinates, just go with gray. And I think I, I definitely agree. So I got like a lot of gray headers. These here are like single banners, just like single banners of all sorts of different designs. Um, these are like rescheduled or canceled stickers. These are like a half block thingies. Um, these here are like to-do, so either just single to-do headers or those like to-dos from Scribble Prints Co. or like those little banners. Um, the next ones are just like full boxes of, of checklists of any kind. Um, the next ones here are three heart checklists, like a half box checklist. Then I go into the full box checklist, not checklist, like the full box heart, I don't know, is it a heart checklist banner? Whatever you want to call them. Um, 
Then I have random weekend banners over here. Once again, I don't, I haven't used these in a while because I've been using so many kits and so many monthly kits, but I do like having like a variety of weekend banners. Oh, I love these. I haven't used one of these in such a long, I haven't used any of these at all. Sticky beans. Like these are just so, so cute. Um, and then vacation. I need to use some of those eventually. Uh, then back here, I've got like to clean stickers, to buy stickers. And then back here are just some um, half boxes. And I'll get into why these are over here later. But this is my all time favorite sticker are half boxes. I love half boxes. I just, I love them. They're like the perfect amount of space for me to, for normally to write like what I need to write in a planner. And like, I just, I love them. I love them. I love them. I love them. So these are just all half boxes and they kind of hang out in the back here. And like I said, I will kind of go into a little bit more why that is going on by itself. Now this next one here is one that I'm filling up right now. And these are just more kits. These are just ones that, um, uh, are kind of new. So like I've got the Scribble Prince Co like Christmas kit that I'm going to be using. I got one from Glam Planner. This was like the Aztec kit, I want to say. Really, really cute. Now this next one here is also from Glam Planner. This was like the November mystery kit. So I'll probably end up using that maybe like in January. Miscellany Boulevard. So these are all just like kits, just like full kits of stuff. Um, and like this one I used recently, Planner Gem. So that's why it's like half used. And these are the remaining um, Halloween stickers that are just kind of hanging out in the back there. So that's just like, as I get new kits coming in, I just stick them in there. But I don't want to expand past what I have here. Um, I, and I haven't been buying as many stickers lately, so I feel like it's, it's kind of getting a little better. Now, the other sticker storage that I use is this box here. And let me kind of lift up the camera so you can see a little better. Now, you saw it in the cart. What this is, it's actually photo storage from the container store. And my husband saw it, and he actually was the one that said, hey, like, wouldn't that be really good for sticker storage? And I was like, wow, like actually like, yes, yes, it would. It absolutely would. So let me try to put the camera up a little bit here too. So you can see it better. So the one thing about this though, is that this is a five by seven photo storage box. So most of the sticker sheets will fit in a five by seven, but not all of them do. So those half boxes that I showed you that were in the accordion file, the reason they're in the accordion file is because they're too big to fit in here. So this is kind of like, I don't know, like this storage solution, it's a little bit on the pricier side uh, to, to buy this. And to be honest, it is probably not nearly as functional as like the accordion file, which is like also a ton cheaper. So I, I kind of am still using this. I don't really know if I'm going to continue, but it still does work for me, especially if there's like stickers that you just want to group up, like in a big massive section. Like for example, planner gems is one of my all time favorite sticker shops. And so she gets her own section in one of these. So I got all my planner gem stickers in here. Now, the one thing I will say about this is I don't think that these are designed to like be used hundreds and hundreds of times. So I can only imagine after opening and shutting and or opening and shutting and opening and shutting, you know, eventually these are going to break off and this is, you know, it's going to break. That's the one thing about it. These are not designed for like a whole ton of use. I would imagine, I would imagine, I don't think like anyone's in a stress lab going like, let's see how many times we can open and shut this before they break off. Like I just don't think so. So it, it, when it comes to that, I don't think it's super functional. And I have been using these now for, I want to say I've had this now for four months and none of them have broken yet, but I imagine it's probably coming, but it's kind of nice to have like, if you, there's like maybe a shop you like or a particular type of sticker you like to have like a bunch of them, like in one container, like protected, I do think it's kind of nice. So I have, um, planner gems in there. This is the, the rest of my food section. These, so that the other food section stuff are the ones that didn't fit in the five by seven, but you can see here, I've got the rest of my food stuff in here. This one here is like some random stuff. It's like, some kits that I kind of used and some kits that I want to use, like why some of my kits are in here and some of the kits are in the accordion file. I, I could not tell you. I could not tell you why. It's just like, it's just craziness over here. I don't know what's going on, but this is just, you know, a uh, box of kits, the empty box. I can't remember what I had in there. Oh, I think I had all of my Halloween stickers in there. And now that Halloween's over, I moved them to an accordion file. So that one's empty for right now. I'll probably end up moving like all of my Christmas stickers to that one here soon so I can, you know, rifle through them all together. This one here is like fall Thanksgiving-y stickers. So, um, I've used some of these. Oh, see, I got some really cute ones from like the Alex Studio I haven't used yet. Sweet Kawaii design. So next week on Thanksgiving, I'm definitely going to use these. And this one is probably my all-time favorite sticker sheet I've ever seen from Sweet Kawaii design for Thanksgiving. I mean, this sheet is just adorable. So cute. 
And then, you know, I also have some other ones in here from A Heartfelt Life. She's a new kind of shop, I think, but she's pretty good. These stickers are good quality. I like them. And then this is like a... Sh See, once again, this is not organized. This is like a kit that I already used. And that's like a kit that I already used from Vintage Gypsy Rose. So some kits and some fall stuff are in there. And then here are the rest of my half boxes, which like I already told you guys, is like my all-time favorite type of sticker. But you know, the sad thing is I've been using so many kits lately that I haven't come back to use just a lot of these half boxes. Like I would love to be able to like take this and be like, I want to build a spread around like this these cute colors and just kind of like have fun. This is a created by Danielle and I really like her shop too, especially for half boxes. They're really cute and really well priced. So half boxes are in here. So this is just another way to store the stickers. And some of you out there, this may work for you. I'm not really sure. It is like a very, I think like nice looking way to store them where you can see them all and they're definitely protected. And depending on how you organize it, I think it could work out really well. So that's something there. Now I've got two more other sticker storage solutions to show you. So let me go grab one of them because it's not in here at the moment. Okay, so this next storage solution actually is this clip in spin. And I got this from Hobby Lobby just online. And at the time I got it, there was like a 50% off sale going on on the clip and spin or it was 50% off. So um, I got one for me and one for my mom. Now the one thing I will say about this, it is humongous, especially if you put like full size sticker sheets on here and every single sticker sheet on here is from Libby and company. And it is just like really big. Like it's just big. Like when I first got this, whoa, and I was like putting everything on there, everybody was laughing hysterically because it's just humongous. And right now, this doesn't hang out with the rest of my planner stuff because it's huge and it's kind of like ostentatious looking. So I haven't even used any of these Libby and Company stickers in a while. No, I have a plan to make an office like maybe a year from now. Like I have this vision in my head. So when I get that going, this will have a home, but it just doesn't right now. But these are just all the Libby and Company stickers. But these are a little bit more difficult to work with because, you know, they are so much bigger than the rest of the, um, you know, the Etsy planner sticker shop stickers. So, you know, this was a sore solution I came up for them. But it's just, you know, right now I'm just not using it because I'm not like carrying this around as I plan. Eventually I will. But it's kind of cool. I mean, it's well made. It spins very easily here. You know, the price point isn't too bad. It's actually a pretty sturdy thing. Like it's, you know, it's not going to flop over on you. And if you're a crafter, there's probably, or, or just any way to organize, I think actually this is not a bad solution at all. So this is the other sticker storage solution that I use. Now the last one is another accordion file, but it's like, it's a hard boxier accordion file. And this is what it looks like. And I got this from Staples yesterday. Now my husband is sitting behind me on the couch and he's going to be laughing his butt off because I was like, oh my God, like I absolutely need that for sticker stores. Like it's perfect. And then yesterday I was looking at my stickers and trying to move them in and I realized it doesn't really work for me. <laughs> so he's over there now going like, why did you buy that for $12 when you just shouldn't have bought it at all? But anyways, let me show you what it is. Now, if you look at the accordion file, you know, it's, it's a little bit shorter, um, but it would fit pretty much like most stickers, you know, from Etsy that you were, that you would need to put in here. And it's super, and it's cute. I mean, I'm not super like into zebra stripes, but you know, whatever, it's cute. Here's the problem though, is that this, this lid here does not like fold back. So it's always like flopping over this thing here. So if you were like trying to get your stickers, you'd be always fighting. You'd be fighting to push this lid back all the time. So it's almost like you'd need like a third hand or something to deal with this. And the other thing too is that these just don't open up that much. So if you wanted to like really get in there and look at your stickers, there's just not much room in here to do that. So it's like if you look at these accordion files, you know, these like open up like a lot. Like you could thumb through these and like easily see entire sheets of stickers. So for example, if I took this one here and put it in here, like just stuck in there, like you just you can't where to go? Like you can't really see it very well. Um, and then of course, then you're, then you're fighting with this lid. And so, especially if you had ones back here, it's like fighting with this thing to like look at it. So I feel like that this kind of accordion file would work really well. If you were actually looking to store something like receipts or something that you're archiving, stick it in here. But if it's something that you're trying to like use, every single day, every single week. It's just not easy to get into. So it looks like it looked really good in theory when I saw it at the store. And I said, man, like I really have to have that 
And I was like, you know, I can finally like ditch some of these accordion files because these seem to be like multiplying, but it just doesn't really work. So for any of you out there that go into Staples and you see it, like kind of open it up. Like you might have a different brand, but open it up and see like how much it stretches and how much it opens. And if it's easy. And honestly, if this, if this lid flipped back, if this it was capable of flipping back or folding over, like it's about to break if I do that. But if this was capable of folding over, this would actually work, but it just doesn't work when it's always, you know, kind of flopping around like that. So anyways, this one really didn't work for me, but maybe I, I know I can find a use for it somewhere else. I just don't exactly know where. Um, but for the most part, bang for your buck, you really just can't go wrong with the accordion files is really the, the best, is really like such a good storage solution. Although I really also do love my, you know, I do love my, uh, you know, the binder for the storage solutions, I think works really well for me too. The photo storage, it may not really work for everybody, but I kind of do like that. And I do really like love these trays that I got for the washi. So all in all, I'm pretty happy with how I am storing my planner supplies. I do like the cart. It's very functional to just move it over to this table as I plan, kind of clean it up, push it back out of the way. So I don't always have this stuff on the kitchen table, which really wouldn't work. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope maybe this might have given you an idea of how to store some things or maybe it just is the same old stuff that you guys have already seen out there. But just wanted to share it with you. But I hope you guys are having a good or had a good weekend by the time this goes up and are going to have a great Thanksgiving for those of you that live in the United States of America. And I'll catch you on the next video. Bye.